Hey, everybody! Last Outrider here, bringing you the next episode of Who Are Me Adeptus Mechanicus. This time we're going to get more into the origins and creation of the Skitari. So let's get right into it, shall we? The Skitari seek to grow ever closer to the machine god by augmenting their bodies with inviolate metal. Each new wound received is a chance for bionic revelation. Such is their fanatical devotion that even healthy organs and body parts are cut away and replaced. To face a Skatari, Legion is to fight against warriors that are less than human and yet far more deadly. As with so much of the cult Mechanicus's business, the truths of the Skatari's creation are kept a close secret. Some are vat-grown, or clones, whilst others repurposed from mind-wiped convicts, or warriors that have been handed over as a punishment for failure or desertion. Regardless of origin, all find a fanatical faith in the Omnissiah soon after their inception. It is then that their true transformation begins. Without exception, the Skatari have pallid bodies of puckered flesh and sutured cybernetics. Ceramic valves and adamantium sockets stud hard knots of pallid translucent muscle. Even the brains of these warriors are grotesque hybrids of gray matter and twisting neurocircuitry. The most blessed pass a point called the Crux Mechanicus, their body more machine than flesh. Those that reach this stage of mechamorphosis are known as Skitari Alpha. Some go on to obtain the rank of Alpha Primus, overseers who can operate independently for years if necessary. As solid and reliable as the titanium that replaces their flesh. One who looked for consistency in Skitari augmentations will be sorely disappointed. A soldier of the Mechanicus may have a punch card, skull slot, and leather bellows for lungs, whilst at the same time housing quantum bioware in his brain. It is often said that where one of these enhanced warriors may be rendered down, traces of nearly every element known to man could be found somewhere in its remains. The tech priests know this to be no exaggeration, for dissection is but one of the dark fates a Skitari might undergo in order to satisfy his master's predatory curiosity. Due to their extensive modification, the Skitari can excel in almost any environment, each legion hails from a hyper-industrialized forge world. Extreme doses of radiation are nothing to those who have trodden the toxic wastes of Mars. Even in the time-ravaged fringes of the halo stars, the Skitari legions march onward. They have painstakingly conquered worlds across the breadth of the galaxy, and whatever pearls they face, their march falters not. How's that sound? So that, that actually contained a whole lot of information. I don't know if you saw it. So let's recap it a bit. We have three ranks of Skitari. Well, first let's go over it. The way you become a Skitari is some of them are grown, some of them are cloned, 
Some of them are penal legions. Some of them are repurposed servitors. Some of them are warriors who have failed in something or uh, punishment for desertion. So they can come from anywhere. This even leads to the question of, can there be a Shtarde Skitari? Possibly. Um, you know, under the thrall of a tech priest, you could have that as an entire conversion right there. And then we go on to after the standard Skitari, you get on to Skitari Alphas. Skitari Alphas are the Skitari who have over 50% of their body replaced by Bionics. And they can continue on to become Alpha Primus. Overseers, basically Skatare that can now operate independently. Independent characters, I'm guessing. Wow. So there you go. Three different levels of Skatare. They also, I'm going to assume, are going to be extremely tough because they just mentioned there that they can walk through rad zones, uh, toxic wastes, and everything like that without even batting an eye. So I'm going to assume that they're pretty nasty. The interesting thing, though, is that this is an automated process, which means these Qatari legions are basically marching across the galaxy, conquering planets. Unlike, unlike the Imperial Guard or the Astra Militarum, these are exploratory fleets, conquering fleets that literally just exist to do nothing except for claim territory in the galaxy and have probably been doing that for 10,000 years endlessly. So imagine how many worlds that adds to the Imperium. Don't know. I guess we'll find out next time when we talk about... Let's see, what are we going to talk about next? Dun, 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 dun. Hold on, hold on. Aha! Bastions of the Machine God. I'm guessing that that is going to be talking about what is a Forge world. Okay, then. Until next time. Bye. <laughs>